With this video, we will be doing Chris Webby and the name of the song is Raw Thought 6. And if you want to help this channel and the content that we're making, please help support our merchandise. The link is in the description. And if you didn't hit that like button, make sure you hit the like button. Try and get the channel to grow. And the only way we're going to do this is if you like, share, and comment on the content. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Let's go. Chi Chi, get the yayo. Get the yayo. Chris Webby, Raw Thought. Society to a halt the United States remain in the wasteland between the FD, the ERA, and the keys of these main operators. The FD will proceed with the concept of all forgotten. When the world reached the end, and disclosed our approach and cannot even allow potential cure, small groups of survivors embarked on the journey to find. Wow. It's almost like a movie. Everybody always want to go north. It's cold north. Got a chance to. Stay alive, kill the virus. Yeah. It's cold. The only problem is packed up there. Yeah, it's a lot of people. Mm. Type B. <sighs> Found Here we are again. I wish I didn't have to keep writing these songs, I really do. Wow. Let me warm up real quick. <clears throat> so I'm gonna oh. type. Dude, that was crazy. I'm gonna type like, why I gotta go? You go. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> you point man. You feel know me? Hey, nah, hell, you go. So I'm, it's I'm, your job. I'm, 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 I'm gonna stay back here. Go ahead, do your thing. I wish I didn't have to keep writing these songs, I really do. Let me warm up real quick. <clears throat> We'd have been like this. He'd have been like this. I'd have been like, we both have been bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you both have been like, got me chopped. <laughs> Let me warm up real quick. <clears throat> another time, another year. Another chance to remind these rappers why I'm who they fear. If we're being honest, I've been getting tired of it here. Now it's time to say goodbye and have me sign your yeah, souvenirs. Because this Wednesday's the last one. Really? It's a rap, son. Seven year album rollout. And then when that's done, I ain't really got a plan for what be coming next. But before I dip, you know I got a couple left. Get it off my chest and climb crest. All in an eloquent way. If you don't move, you might be catching it straight. Low key, lot of rappers biting Webby these days. He said low key, you might be catching it straight. And then they had in the video the guy turn around and uh, blast his zombie, which I think is dope. Always like when the video actually uh, matches up with the music at the time, and I thought right. that was dope. And visually, this is crazy. This is almost remind me of The Walking Dead or something like yeah, that. this is very creative. Yeah, it's very creative, and it's give me that movie type of feel with the video. And I like how it got right down to business. It wasn't like some long drawn out. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, All right, let's see what's happening. Ah, <laughs> like, it's crazy. <laughs> wasn't expecting that. Like, yeah. I'm a proud dad Who am I to get in the way Of all my sons I gave life to Look at them run Feels like yesterday I taught them to walk Now they become so big Since I showed them How this shit could be done Why right. would I ask for flowers In a mm. game that's giving me none right. I'm so independent I'm making the He said she asked for flowers In the industry That's giving me none You feel what I'm saying Like mm -hmm. sometimes You feel like You do a certain thing <clears throat> You do a certain Adjust For the work that you put in And sometimes You don't get that So sometimes You're not gonna get the pound on the back you gotta give yourself the pound on the back because nobody's gonna give it to you exactly feels like yesterday i taught them to walk now they become so big since i showed them how this shit could be done why nice. would i ask for flowers in a game that's giving me none i'm so independent i make independent rappers look dependent i burnt the business my i'm so independent i make independent rappers look dependent that was crazy and the more and more he going with this um song i'm liking it more and more and it's the first thing we did from chris webby i never even heard about him to somebody slid in my comment section um and told me to check this out so i'm checking it out but i like what i'm hearing um uh, from him yeah it's definitely uh unique and i like how he's telling his story yeah facts he's like i feel like i'm getting to know more a little bit more about him just so i've listened to the song like i mean i've been putting work in people not trying to give me my just due and it's like he might have some validity uh, to what he's saying because i never even heard of him um so you know what i'm saying i'm glad he made it on our radar and i'm glad that we doing what we doing so we could just get stuff like this and hear artists we never would have heard of if we wasn't reacting yeah because this is a fun watch too yeah definitely 
Come so big since I showed them how this shit could be done Why would I ask for flowers in a game that's giving me none? I'm so independent, I make independent rappers look dependent I burnt the business model, other people took the credit So get your shit straight I've been around since that piff mixtapes This ain't fucking clickbait When I'm on a... He said he birthed the business model and other people took the credit. Yeah, that's that's crazy. And it's like, it'd be like that sometimes. Sometimes you just see the model is faulted and you come up with a new way to do stuff. Like, I know, yeah, I see how y'all doing it, but I think this is a smarter way um, to do it. And a lot of times the people that do come up with the ideas are not the ones that get the credit. Unfortunately, it's just how right. it is out here. Um, people are selling ideas left and right and they might take off before you, but it still was your idea. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. I've been around since that piff mixtapes. This ain't that fucking piff? clickbait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I wrote them who they paying to see. Night after night, year after year, remaining to be right. one of the coldest MCs, undebated indeed. They try but can't replicate being as crazy as me. You know, G in a game full of puppies and I'm cool, Joe. Yeah, they got some monthlies. They ain't packing rooms though. They don't know the ciphers where I grew up paying dues. They'll never fit in my shoes. They'll never do what I do. So till the government don't get to killing me already. What the fuck you waiting on? I told you, Hillary, I'm ready. But shit, until they get me, we gon' ride it high and Not the with cat. the bars. Yeah, it's looking like the Irish side Not of town. The cat. And my mind's derailed mm. like all the damn trains Holy these days. Christ. Got me afraid of the rain these days. But they you it was like something about the train these days and when they did it. it um tracks. That's dope. How they adding what he's saying into the movies. The, the uh, visuals are already dope. When you do stuff like that, it makes it that much doper. And it make you want to pay that much more attention to what's going on and see if they're going to do it some more and stuff like that. Yeah, it, it, this, this is well put together. Facts. Well thought out. Mine's derailed like all the damn trains these days. Got me afraid of the rain these days. But the Ukraine these days. He said, no, all these trains being der um, derailed um, got me afraid for the rain because, you know, the chemicals is going into the rain. And then when it comes down, the right. rain is getting on you from the chemicals. Um, so that was tough. I like that. How you put that? I'm afraid for it to rain these days. That's crazy. The damn trains these days got me afraid of the rain, rain these days. But the Ukraine these days, yeah, that's what they want us watching instead of chemical fires and clouds of dioxin. Uh, Final chloride killing with the drizzle train. dropping, breathing or eating. There you go again. I didn't even derail train, but yo, he's going in. Um, he's going deep with this. I gotta rewind that's this. That's hard because I was. I, I just catch thought he was talking he's about his mind when he was touching the. Train track because yeah. like my mind's derailed like these trains these yeah, days. Yeah. And then he went through the bar and then you see the train on the side. That's crazy. That's crazy. It's bringing you flashbacks to the uh, the train development um, derailments that was going on. And you can't have a. Um, mm -hmm. You just think about it when you see that. What he's saying, it's like we all heard it made news. It was a big deal because it was happening a lot and often. Yeah, and it was affecting. Area in, in other areas. Yeah, well. and you was yeah. hearing people. You were seeing the footage on Instagram with people talking about the rain. So that's why that bar resonated uh, with me when he sat down. And people were talking about how it was getting into the uh, rivers, um, and also how it was getting into the where people on the farmland. The runoff, the ground. Yes, yeah, in the ground. Everything. The, yeah, man. it's crazy. And my mind's derailed like all the damn trains these days. Got me afraid of the rain these days. But the Ukraine these days. Yeah, that's what they want us watching instead of chemical fires and clouds of dioxins. Vinyl chloride killing with the drizzle dropping. Breathing or eating food seeped in toxins. Contaminate our crops and the Set water that we washing. And tell you that it's safe. They some lying motherfuckers. Now it's just another cover up. He said they tell you it's safe. They some lying. Um, I don't know. Um scientifically um what is what's the outcome um when that stuff happened um but i like how he's breaking this down and it's only been three minutes into the song and i feel like he already gave us a lot in this three minutes this was an action-packed three minutes and we still got six more minutes to go and we wash it and tell you that it's safe they some lying motherfuckers it's now it's just another cover-up really i mean what the fuck all oh, these nice. black rock motherfuckers trying to come for us maybe we should come for them load and light the muzzle up pour some ohio tap water and fill them up a cup straight mm. from east palestine make that's that's where it happened um yeah east palestine ohio yeah he facts. Said, that's what and he was referencing what we was just, just talking, talking about, about which is crazy affected everything the yeah he's like take that ohio water and fill them up a cup let's see what they drink it you yeah. said it's safe right hmm. drink it like that <laughs> old episode of good times of thanksgiving when they had him taste the uh bad food from the market oh i didn't get to see that one oh uh, we gonna have to watch that
Muzzle up, pour some Ohio tap water and fill them up a cup Straight from East Palestine, make them all swallow it And drive them to their first visit to the oncologist Two years later when the tumors all surface Just to look them in the eyes and tell them that they deserve it We got Klaus Schwab, Bill Gates, all these damn serpents in wow. society Lying like they are He dropping names He calling people out by their first and their last yeah. names That's crazy I don't think I ever heard nobody calling people out by their names In a rap song I ain't ever heard nobody call out 1028 like that. What's that? I don't even know what that is. Oh, Bill. Oh, oh. Just two years later when the tumors all surface Just to look them in the eyes and tell them that they deserve it We got Klaus Schwab, Bill Gates, all these damn serpents in society Lying like they aren't trying to hurt us The poison us for profit, they've been trimming down our population Evil is the... Yo, that's crazy, because when he said that, um, I seen a guy on Instagram um, And he was like, um... Are we all going to just sit here and act like they're trying not to hurt us? <laughs> like, you know what I'm right. saying? Are we just going to keep sitting here and acting like they're not trying to hurt us? And I thought that was funny. And um, he just and said the same what? thing. You know what? Just to explain why I said 1028. Because mm -hmm. I know somebody's going to be like, why did he say 1028? Yeah. Because he didn't say the song. I was wondering saying that. Like, I was listening I, to that. I, like, I just happened that. to know that because that's my birthday. Okay. And he has the same birthday. Oh, that's dope. It's just a random. So oh. your birthday in like two weeks? Yeah. Oh, that's dope. Happy early birthday. Thank you. <laughs> they deserve it. We got Klaus Schwab, Bill Gates, all these damn serpents in society lying like they aren't trying to hurt us. The poison us for profit, they've been trimming down our population. Evil is the occupation with the great reset, prepped and on deck, sheep following sheep. Pop this is mm. crazy. He's saying a lot. Sheep shot on the feet, depopulation. He's saying a lot in this song. I'm surprised uh, we never heard about this song. This is a uh, deep song. That's. That makes sense. Like they aren't trying to hurt us The poison us for profit They've been trimming down our population Evil is the occupation With the great reset Prepped and on deck Sheep follow sheep Our country's falling apart Biden's falling asleep They put our rights up on the market You said Biden's falling asleep I think it's falling apart That's crazy Wow that very opinionated. Yeah, that he is. Sheep. Our country's falling apart. Biden's falling asleep. Crazy. They put our rights up on the market and they bought them for cheap. While selling fear through propaganda, then they wash and repeat and see. Mm. They tell a boy he's a girl. No, he's not. He's eight. That I will not debate, let alone Tyler. Yo, doesn't, doesn't, uh, dang. Butterfly. Okay. Doesn't it represent, like, uh, death or something like that? Not that I know of. You might be knowing something. I don't know. I don't know that. Um, but I will say, since you did pause it, um, Chris Webby and Tommy Donald seem like they in the same type of lanes. You feel what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. on the content of their songs. I wouldn't even put Ren in that. Chris Webby, Ren, Tom. They all... They're very... Uh, hmm. And their explanations. Right. They're very vivid. Right. That's why... And they paint I great think, pictures. That's why I think their, their videos come out like this, because they paint such a vivid, vivid picture. picture. You yeah. can... Visually see it. Yeah. They tell a boy he's a girl. No, he's not. He's eight. eight. That I will not debate, eight. let alone tolerate. All these genders nowadays. How do we accommodate? Most of us are just confused. Why y'all gotta call it hate? Canceling is all the rage. Sanity been tossed away. Kids identifying as animals. He said, yo, we just confused. Don't call it hate. Like, we don't come up in this world where it was like this. This is a brand Damn. new world. Man. So don't call it hate. We just, like, no, we don't come from. We like the way things were. Yeah, yeah. Make it make sense. Facts. All these genders nowadays. How do we accommodate? Most of us are just confused. Why y'all gotta girl, call it hate? Crazy. Canceling is all the rage. Sanity been tossed away. Kids yeah, identifying yeah. as animals and we call Damn. them brave. But fuck that. I don't care like, if it's my the... kid or not. TCF can hurt if they shitting in a litter box. Did you get boosted? Well, Charlie Pooh did. All these shots fucking with hearts like Cupid. They selling souls to the pharmacists. Taking blood money and sucking big pharma's dick. But listen. That could never be Webby. I'd rather die a martyr than be a motherfucking hashtag Pfizer. partner. And I'm not saying mm. that you're stupid if you're vaxxed, though, Mr. Fiasco. All I'm saying is I am smart. I know that I'm a fire starter, but... He's saying, I ain't saying you dumb if you got vaxxed, but I'm smart. Basically saying that he did not take the, the shot. That was dope how he slipped their name in there, too. Yeah. 
Facts though, Mr. Fiasco All I'm saying is I am smart I know that I'm a fire starter But I tried to tell them all in Raw Thoughts 5 But let me So he's tearing that deer up He's like, Arr. I mean, needed this I know that I'm a fire starter But I tried to tell them all in Raw Thoughts 5 But let me add, if you got it against your will For a job that'll pay your bills Then your bosses should be in jail Your doctor should all be And I'm sorry that's how I feel But they were following orders You know who else was following orders? Nazi supporters Fuck all the employers, whoever I was like, yo, you just can't say people following orders Um, You gotta have some accountability for the things that you're doing it's just a little bit more than following orders uh we all grown we all know right from wrong and this simple rule that we all want to we should all just treat people the way we want to be treated um so nobody want to be misinformed we all just want the right information so we the right make the right decisions for us and our families right because if you don't make the right decision or you don't have a voice then you end up being forced and yeah, and it just comes down to having the proper information. You want to make the decisions you make with the proper information, and that's all people are asking for. And your bosses should be in jail. Your doctor should all be convicted. And I'm sorry that's how I feel. But they were following orders. You know who else was following orders? Nazi supporters. Fuck all the employers who were ever forcing their staff to be a force with a jab for a flu that they probably already had. To keep a job that gives them all that they have. Free country. How the fuck are we even calling it that? Wow. Is it like some sick joke? Is it all for a laugh? Have we truly reached a point that we're too lost to get back? Are we body positive? Is it fine to be fat? It's actually healthy according to some scientist stats. But look, so, Nestle is the company supplying He just like basically like how they'll take everything and try to uh, make it sound like it's not bad when we all know it's bad for us, but they'll try to spin it yeah. to make it in a positive when it should never been in the positive to begin with. Yeah. Yeah, they try to find the best out of the worst and then make us believe that it, it's no bad. Facts. It's actually healthy according to some scientist stats. But look, Nestle is the company supplying the fat. That's a conspiracy. I'm just not subscribing to that. So get your tinfoil. He say, yo, the person that's saying it's good is the person that's supplying it. So what else would you expect them to say? Is rule no, no, rule number one in the game is never trust the salesman. For that reason. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you don't expect them to say anything else, but we have the best products. There's nothing wrong with it. Right. Supplying that's the goal. That's <laughs> to achieve the sale. Right, facts. <laughs> I ain't gonna say nothing to mess it sell up. It's like when you try to talk to a female, you're not gonna say anything that could mess that up. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, you, it, it, it just leaves way for those commercials 10 years later at 3 in the morning. Right. Where they're like, yeah, you should take this, but it will cause this, this, yeah. this, 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 yeah. this, that. You have more side yeah. effects than you. Than benefits. That's like a conspiracy. I'm just not subscribing to that. So get your tinfoil hat and never come back again. Racist colonizer, I will never play your tracks again. Till you say sorry for being white. Not that again. How you blaming me for slavery? Shit, I'm Italian. Only on your mother's side, see? You just fucking lie. Shut the fuck up, yo. Damn, let me fucking slide. Not getting kicked. That girl was giving me like some Eminem vibes for some reason. Um, That part. But I like that. I like the um when you add some comedy. Um, it's a serious song. You're being serious, but you're putting a comedy in there, which is dope. I mean, just give people different emotions, whatever. Right. So I think that's tough, and I think that was smart that he was able to uh, throw that in there. Yeah, but it's, it, I love when uh, people tell the truth and levity. When they do what? Tell the truth and levity. Like, tell the truth and find a joke. Right, yeah. Not that again. How you blaming me for slavery? Shit, I'm Italian. <laughs> Only on your mother's side, see? You just fucking lie. Wow. Shut the fuck up, yo. Damn, let me fucking slide. Not getting canceled already. It's been a bumpy ride. You expect me to run and hide? Never that. I be ivermectin' with it. Yeah, wow. I gave him the remedy. Damn. It's a game with the recipe. Nice. It's safe and effectively. Saw the grand <laughs> reaper. Just a couple paces ahead wow. of me. But we cut his... You seen the zombie? Ah! Yeah, you ain't past that. <laughs> Yo, this is a crazy video. Running high, never that. I be ivermectin with it. Yeah, I gave him the remedy. Hit the game with the recipe. Did it safe and effectively. Saw the green right, right, but just a couple work. paces uh, ahead of me. But we cut a Damn. side deal and dug a grave for my enemies. And the thing that about the that. truth is, right. they don't let us. And Star the thing Trek. about the proof is, what? they keep it from me. While the thing about the news is, what? it's made for dummies. And the Got thing about that. the news is, Got him. The thing yeah. about the news is, it's made for, for dummies. dummies. He's saying a lot in this song. This is crazy. And yeah. Then once again, I got to say, like, I'm surprised it wasn't more conversation around this um, when it came out because I didn't hear anything about it. Again, I could see why. 
Well, the thing about the news is, it's made for dummies. And the thing about the Jews yeah, is, the homie. you gotta go. Crazy. Wait, did my song censor itself? Oh, great. Now they'll say I'm anti Semitic as well. Oh, it's all right. And make sure my records it. never will sell. Say what you will about them, yo, but shit, they clever as hell. Jesus Christ, folks. Woo! That was crazy. But yo, he was just talking about um, because of what he's doing and what he's saying in this song. Um, they might just call him um, anti Semitic because we know that that's a tag they put on people. So people be the misses of you. Anti Semitic, crazy, um, homophobic. They just put yeah. a title on you. So people now, they're just dismissive of you and your thoughts. Yeah. And, and you know what? That's probably another reason why there are several uh, points in this video where it's I can see why. You know, it didn't get the play like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just because, but that's what I like about it, because he's actually talking about some things. Yeah, it's just like you know one of them saying? songs that definitely, um, after this song is heard, it's definitely um, a conversation sparker. Yeah. For sure. And the thing about the Jews is... Wait, did my song censor itself? Oh, great. Now they'll say I'm anti-Semitic as well. It's all right. And make sure my records never will sell. Say what you will about them, yo. But shit, they clever as hell. Jesus Christ, folks. He said, you can say what you want to say about these people, but they are clever. Um, and I would say the same thing. Like, when you really fi start finding out what's going on, you're like, it's a genius plan. You feel what I'm saying? Like, the way they're doing things is genius because they're doing it without no one knowing. So, I mean, people know, but the masses don't know. So, if you're able to do this stuff in broad daylight, you feel what I'm saying? We see stuff pop up here all the time. Like, you see that, you see that, you see that. Yeah. But the masses don't even know what they're looking at. And you got to be smart to pull that off where... Yeah. 90% of the people are dumbfounded to what they're even looking at. Or or even they heard this song, they wouldn't know what he was even talking about. Right. Yeah. It'll just be entertained. Yeah, facts. Are we at the point where as a white guy, I gotta ask if it's fine if I make a white joke? A little extra mayonnaise up on the side joke? A little I don't get pulled over when I drive joke? Lighten up. He said, look, I don't get pulled over when I drive joke because, you know, we get pulled over more times than... It's just too much. And it's like, even you know you're going to get pulled over a lot. And then give you an example of, like, my son, my older son. I, like, I had to have a conversation with him. I mean, when you get called, um, pulled over, keep your hands on the 12, don't reach for nothing, comply, da 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 da, -da. Um, Make sure you call me. But I'm pretty sure everybody's not having that same conversation with their son or feel like they need to have that conversation with their son. I know I I know I needed to have that conversation yeah, with my son. There was no way not to have that conversation with him because I know what he's going to be facing out here. And the reason I know because I faced it. Yeah, and still facing on a daily basis. It's, it's every day, all the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's really just... At this point, it's like the hardest part of approaching the day is approaching it like, <sighs> all right, because you know it's coming out. You gotta come out swinging. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? I you game face on all the time. He's up on the side joke. A little I don't get pulled over when I drive joke. Lighting up people. We ain't so different. The two teams now are the compliers and the dissidents. So pick a side. Ain't no time for you to sit the fence. Say fuck this. Refuse to be a participant. Awake yourself from. He say, yo, <clears throat> you got to pick a side. There is no plane in the middle on this. You either pick it aside. Um, and also, silence is complacent, being complicit in this situation. Yeah, yeah it's, 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 it's the same thing. Yeah, so you got to pick a side. What side are you standing on? That's it. Red or blue pill. <laughs> For you to sit the fence, say fuck this, refuse to be a participant. Awake yourself from the cloud of cognitive dissonance. I remind me of uh, what an uh, uh, ex president I would say, I'm not gonna say his name, but when he was like, Psst, don't comply. Right. <laughs> don't comply. But the compliers and the dissidents, so pick a side. Ain't no time for you to sit the fence, say fuck this, refuse to be a participant. Awake yourself from the cloud of cognitive dissonance. Conspiracies are coming true, it's no coincidence. The ones that power banking on us staying ignorant. That's why they hate us when we give a shit. The mm. ones in power are banking on us, our ignorance. And that's exactly um, what's going on. People are not well informed on what's going on. And some stuff that they believe are the truth is not the truth. And it's just uh, a lot that he's unpackaging Inevitably, with this. Inevitably, people are dumbing themselves down by choice. Because they're overwhelmed by the reality of life. I wouldn't say people are dumbing themselves down. It's I kinda, would absolutely say it. Um, I would say it's just like you don't think it would be possible to live in a world 
where this type of stuff is happening. It doesn't seem like anything anyone would be doing. It's like with J J um um the guy from um the FBI, J Hoover J J Edgar Hoover J Edgar Hoover when he said um the lie is so big that if people hear it they think it's impossible for it to be the truth because that's how massive it is. So I just say it. If I just told a normal person what was going on, they'll be like, Someone "There's there over the head." You're crazy. There's no way that's going on. It's impossible for that to be going on. <laughs> You're crap. I'm not going to say the word. So listen, because if everybody gave a shit at once, then their game would all be done. If the people united against the few that run the planet, we would take them in a month. I don't know what would come after. After all, I'm just a rap. That was dope. He said, like, yo, if everybody linked up, because it's way more of us than it was them. Um, and it almost reminded me of the movie Ants. I don't know if you've seen it. When it was yeah, the grasshoppers. Colony. And it was like, yo, you know what happened? They figured out how many of them it is to us and how easy it would be for them to take it over. Um, so that analogy kind of uh, reminded me of that right there. And he made another good point. Let's say we did, people found out what was going on and they stumped that fire out. There's still got to be what will be next. Right. And he was, that's a great point. I don't know what will be next, but I know what we're doing right now. It's not it. It's not it. Facts. Because if everybody gave a shit at once, then their game would all be done. If the people united against the few that run the planet, we would take them in a month. I don't know what would come after. After all, I'm just a rapper trying to spread truth while I'm still on earth. And sometimes with the truth, the shit gon' hurt. Facts. Last Wednesday, bitch. But before I dip off, I got some people that I gotta piss off first. Mm -hmm. Webby. Thoughts. Hmm. To all my brothers and sisters in the quarantine zones, or anyone else tapped into these frequencies hearing my words, the survivors out there who still Trying have enough fight in them to stand up against the injustice and tyranny of the establishments risen from the shadow of our society's collapse. Fedra and their affiliates seek to keep us in a state of dependence as they rule over us just like the government elites in times of old. We may be lost, our spirits may be broken, but it isn't over yet. My name is of no importance anymore. All that matters is that I have found the cure they've been keeping from us. Wow. Anyone looking to seek refuge and help us take the next steps towards a brighter tomorrow, you have a home with us. Wow. To those prepared to dissent, now is our time to rise. And to those whose fear blinds them into compliance, it's time to pick a side. Pick a side. If you continue to ride the fence, you will get caught in the crossfire. Mm. Because there will be a war ahead, both of the physical and spiritual kind. And if the wrong side winds up on the losing end, it very well may be the last war. Mm. So to anyone looking to interfere and try to further subjugate us, Fedra or whoever, wow. we'll be ready. Smoke off the mic. It's crazy. It's Trey TV. Let's get it. This is Lamar Wilson here representing Ghetto Action News Network underscore all lower cases. No spaces. You can find us on Facebook. Make sure you hit the like button. Hit the like button. All right, I'm going to get right down to this. This was Chris Webby, Raw Thoughts 6. I thought this was, uh, this was a dope concept. He had bars all over the place. Yeah. I mean, he touched on a lot of topics. For sure. I mean, environmental topics, everything. For sure. Everything. This was definitely a, a, a well put together verse. You know what I'm saying? I like the whole concept. I like how the video correlated with the conversation. It went hand in hand. Mm -hmm. um, and even the 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 when they were talking about like the food and like it was so much in this and the water yeah. like. I could see why the video didn't get quite as much as attention because it was a lot of topics he was hitting on, that, right. you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, this was a great piece of work. If I had to rate this, I would give this a 10 just because I like the quality of the content of the, the lyrics to this. And I, I think it was well put together. What do you think? I think this was well thought out of, uh, well creative, 
everything about this was great from the content of the songs from the visuals um everything about this my first thing i heard from them but it won't be the last thing after you hear something like this you don't have a choice but to uh, check out um, more um stuff from him because a lot of artists go deep it's look like he was willing to go deeper than most artists are willing to go um so shouts out to him because he went so deep and it's probably why we didn't hear this song it looked like it probably they would have tried to slow this down you couldn't get this out to the masses because of stuff that is covering um, but overall, I thought it was um, dope musically. Um, I like the beat. Um, if I had to rate this on a 1 to 10, uh, just like yourself, um, if you know what's going on, you don't, got, you don't have a choice but to get us a 10. And I can't wait until we get into our next episode. But until then, it's your boy Trey TV. And I'm out.